Hey guys, want to do a video here on uh, some airbags I put in the back of my truck. So after doing a little bit of research, um, asking some different people on some Facebook groups and different things, uh, basically was told I could buy these, I think they're Air Master. Let me look here. Sorry, my truck's a mess, but um, yeah, Airlift, load lifter, 5,000 pound, uh, adjustable air springs. I also got the, um, the compressor with these, uh, it hasn't came in yet, but um, once I get it, I'm gonna install, install it as well. So I can have on board uh, where I can adjust it there. So, um, but just in case anybody else out there is doing this and you have a lifted truck, uh, this truck I'm almost positive is a four inch lift, especially now after doing some measurement on, on some of the drop brackets and stuff underneath it. Uh, these bags will not just go into place. So I'll climb underneath here and kind of show you uh, what I'm talking about here, maybe. Let me see if I can get the camera. So, um, you guys can see this bracket here. So this is part of the lift. Um, you got, like I said, this is why I think the back, this is roughly about three to four inches in between. So that's why I think this is probably a four inch lift, but this bracket actually bolts into place here where your uh, airbag bracket mounts. So, um, that's one issue you run into. The other is your airbag won't set in here with this piece here. You're, you're going to hit. So you have to get something to space it up. So what, what I did here, climb underneath here, maybe I'll show you guys now a little better, but, uh, basically what I did is took a piece of uh, two by four tubing. So two inches by four inches and bolted it to the original bracket here. And that got me my distance up uh, to where I needed to be. Um, you can see the other side over there. So that's what I did to um, get these to work. So the other thing that if you guys notice that, that the bracket for the lift, um, that quarter inch probably is what that is, shows it back a little bit. So uh, you do have some adjustment up here on the top. So these are actually now sitting towards the back, which which is fine. I mean, those are all, all that slotted. So you, you do have some adjustments so you can still get it in there and get your bags pretty much uh, exactly where they need to be. Um, worked out great. I plan to paint these. Um, I was actually pressed for time. I, I wanted to do a video on the install um, and all that as well and kind of go over it. But uh, to be honest, I just didn't, didn't have a whole lot of time. I uh, was wanting to get, get some loads hauled and uh, needed these under the truck. So I uh, got them put in. Right now I'm running 50 pounds, which is probably uh, with the trailer I had on, wasn't too bad. Uh, didn't really sag the truck much at all, but it's probably a little a little much. It's, it's a little rough. So, um, but yeah, wasn't wasn't too bad to install. Uh, you cut, the, cut those bumpers off and um, it's pretty simple to go in, but just in case anybody else is having issues um, or that wants to put airbags and your truck is lifted, this is probably your, your only option. You're going to have to um, block it up. So, and I just felt like keeping the original OEM bracket where it slips in underneath here and bolts up there to the front was the best way. And then I could just bolt this in between. Pretty simple. I probably could have shortened them maybe a little bit, um, but I basically cut those to the exact, uh, the, the uh, pad or whatever that's on the original bracket. That's the length I made those. So there's a bolt way up at the very front. Yeah, they work work great. Um, so far, really happy with the bags. Uh, definitely huge difference. So, like I said, the truck barely even sagged. Um, right now, I've just got these uh, zip tied right here because, like I said, I'm gonna pull all this back off and put my compressor underneath here once I once I get it in and run it to where I can do all that from inside the truck. So, but yeah, if anybody has any questions, again, I, I wish I'd have got this on video. Just was pressed for time and. Uh, really just wanted to get it get it done but if you guys got questions i'll try to help you out i'll have a link to these exact airbags uh, in the description uh, one thing that that when i bought these there there is another set out now that actually bolts instead of having to drill holes and cut your bump stops off they actually bolt to the bump stop bracket with a like a oh a u-bolt or a 
muffler clamp, whatever you want to call it. And um, that's what I thought I got um, when I was buying these. The description sh said uh, no drilling or cutting, um, but I said I got this style, which again, um, these work great. I've, I've watched plenty of videos online of people installing these. And so, um, well with these, but there is another option out there. If you guys really want to take your time and look, you can get one where you don't even have to cut those bump stops uh, off. You can just pull off the little rubber piece and everything bolts in. So, but again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.